All right, so today I'm working on this 60 gallon air compressor. I think I bought this in, I think 2009, new. And uh, so the issue I have is the head gasket. There's two gaskets, a top and a bottom. I think it's called the head gasket. Um, will leak air. You can see it move when it's uh, running, when it's pumping. So I got two new gaskets, the top and the bottom. So we're gonna have to take that head off. And then I also bought the filter here as well. So it looks kind of brown. To uh, access the head bolts, you gotta take that cover off the air filter and you'll see there's a bolt. So there's six bolts total. There's two here, there's gonna be two back in here and then two up in front. Um, I loosened them all up already with a, a 9 16 so that we can uh, get them out. And then I believe the torque spec is somewhere between 20 to 30 foot pounds and the torquing sequence is you start in the middle and work your way out. So that's what that is. Um, I also read on the manual there's, uh, I guess you can use some lacquer thinner to clean the valves if they're all, if the like the valve body in here is all carboned up. So. I'll get it apart here and we'll see uh, what we got. We also got to take the air supply off here as well, but that shouldn't be much of anything. So, I don't know, I guess it's time to do a little maintenance on it. I mean, I've changed the oil on it a couple times, but even this hose, I've replaced this hose now twice. And this is the last time I'm going with a Central Pneumatic, which is the Harbor Freight brand, because I've replaced this hose and then also that hose, which is a Harbor Freight. And then also the hose that was on the reel that came from Harbor Freight dried out on me. So this next time around, I'm gonna buy a Milton hose, which is about $22. And I think the Harbor Freight hose is like $4. So we'll see if it lasts longer this time. All right, so I got the top off here, top of the head. Doesn't look too awful. It looks like there's some deposits there. So we'll take a look at the, uh, the other spot. I think all the bolts are the same except for this last one is like a stud to help hold the cover on or whatever. I think lengthwise they're all the same. All right, so here it is. I don't want to lose the bolt though, just in case it's different. I haven't really looked at it. There we go. Maybe we'll just set it up on the side. Oh. So definitely some issues there with the gasket. That's probably why it's leaking. And the bolts were loose. I tightened them up at one point. So I'm thinking that's probably part of the issue. But yeah, everything looks kind of brown. So we'll probably clean it up with some lacquer thinner and then peel this graphite gasket off. So the other thing is uh, it's about 100 degrees outside with 100, degree, uh, 100 degrees of humidity. It's just unbearable right now. So everything is like sweat wet. All right, so let me just take a screwdriver here and see if we can just pop this up here. I'm thinking we should be able to get underneath this gasket here, hopefully. There we go. Oops, this piece of the gasket. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. This gasket has nothing left. A little brown spot here, but yeah, the top, top of this gasket here is, is awful. Pistons don't look awful. Those look like those will clean up pretty nice. All right, so that's what it looks like. Obviously some gasket material there fell in but like I said I ordered that gasket too so hopefully we'll be in uh, good shape with that so I'm gonna work on getting everything cleaned up here and then we'll take a look at the gaskets and reassemble all right so I got it all cleaned up here is as, uh, as much as I'm going to I guess so it's a pretty rough casting Everything is pretty rough on this. So we'll take a look at the head as well. But I'm getting ready to install it here. All right, so here's a look at the valves. So they're pretty, uh, pretty caked up with some oil there. I don't know, this thing had compressor oil in, but I don't know why it got so uh, 
like carboned up. So that's weird. And then uh, here's the top. So these are the intakes air filters on the other side of those. I just cleaned this up with uh, 91 octane universal uh, cleaner there. So air filter sits uh, right in here like this and then there's a cover that goes over the top. And those are your two valves there. So I'll take the air compressor, the small one, give this a blast and then uh, we'll throw some gaskets on. So oh, I got them both together here. So this is gonna be this one. That one's just gonna sit on top like that. And then this one sits on top of the actual, the motor or whatever. So I'll get it cleaned up and then uh, the next step is gonna be torquing them down. All right, so this is how it looks here. I got the gasket on the bottom and then sitting on top. And then we got this piece here, which, yeah, so these valves here line up with those slots. And then the big compartment here lines up with the brown valves there and you got your uh, outlet for the air right there. So probably going to shut the camera off and set it down. It does say do not use any type of uh, gasket sealer or anything on the gasket. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not using any type of gasket seal. I am kind of interested to know what this plug is for here. And it comes it comes into the inside of this compartment here. I wonder uh, what that's used for. But anyway, so I'll get this placed and then uh, I'll get some of the bolts in there and get it started. All right, so I got most of them uh, snug here. It says to start uh, inside ones and then kind of crisscross for the uh, pattern and it's 30 foot pounds so I'm using the absolute biggest torque wrench I got. I don't have a small one so I'm just kind of going to go around here and get them oh, it's pretty loose, snug and hoping I don't over torque this. I should probably back this thing off a little bit and make sure we're not overdoing it here. We'll back it down to about 25. Ooh, that's 25. It's a uh, fine thread bolts. going into aluminum. Whew. Man, that is uh, some scary stuff there. So I'm going to go around a couple times, just make sure we're all at 25 and then I'll probably bring it up to 30. All right, so I got everything put back together. I just got the uh, flat cover that needs to go back on filter. Here's the filter I took off. This one actually has some like, looks like metal in it almost. I think this was out and this was the in. I don't know, maybe this thing had too much oil in it at one point and it kind of puked it all out. And that's why everything was kind of oily on top. I don't know, it looks nice and clean now. The gasket looks about the same. It's just as uh, kind of crunchy as before, but hopefully it's a little bit more pliable than uh, what the last one was, because the last one was just falling apart. All right, so I don't have it mounted on the ground, and uh, this will be the first run since uh, we did all the replacement stuff up on top. I will uh, change the oil after this, but I'd like to run it a little bit just to see how it runs and hopefully nothing uh, falls apart. So here we go. Alright, 
so here it is back uh, back in its spot I got it bolted back down to the floor um, ended up going with this uh, Dewalt hose um, nobody had a Milton hose in stock in the store so I ended up going with this instead and I think that's a six foot lead so it's a little long but seems like it should work I think it's got a 300 psi burst rating on it so and then we'll take a closer look here I've run this thing cycled it a couple times here so what that gasket looks like it looks like everything's okay so and it seems like it runs smoother and quieter and I don't know if that's because of the air filter or because you know I cleaned everything up but it seems to uh, run a lot quieter so all right other than that that's gonna be it for now